Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today. What I planned on doing today was doing a couple of single color swipes and single colored blooms. But what we're going to use is eye candy ghost blue as our only color. So that's an interference color. It looks white, but when the light hits it on a dark background, you can really notice the blue. So what we'll do is we'll mix some up so you can see exactly how it's mixed and what products I use to do it. So what I'm going to use is Josonia Gloss Varnish. I'm going to use that to disperse the pigments. Now I'm going to do two different pouring mediums here. So what I'll do is put a bit of Josonia in the bottom of this one. Little bit in that one. Grab our ghost blue. Gonna put a scoop in. Throw a scoop in that one. I might go two scoops. I like them really highly pigmented when I do them. All right, so what we'll do is mix that into the Joe Sonia. Now, when you're using pigments, wear a mask. Just a basic N95 will do the job. Make sure it fits snugly on your face because you don't want to breathe this stuff in. So we'll mix that in and disperse it all. So that's all mixing with that Joe Sonia, making a nice little fluid type paint. Make sure there's no lumpy bits. Alright, so that's all mixed in. Like that. Now when you see that in the light, I don't know whether you're able to see it or not gets a blue shift to it so we'll do the same with this one and just mix that into the Joe Sonia Like that. So they're all dispersed now. Now we can start adding a pouring medium. Now, in Australia, we used to use Torben's Door and Trim in a gloss neutral. That has been discontinued, so you can't use that anymore. So, there are a couple of other alternatives. We can use either... The Torben's water-based enamel, which is that one. All right, that's still a neutral, and it's a semi-gloss, okay? So when you dip your finger into the goo and rub it between your fingers, It turns clear. You're not left with a white. So we can either use that one. Now the consistency of that is still quite goopy and thick. So ideal. Or you can use Torbman's sunproof now that one there is a gloss and it's a neutral as well 
Now that one is a little thinner than the other one, but you can still get away with it. What you have to remember is <clears throat> don't put too much Joe Sonia in because if you do, it makes it really hard to thicken it back up. So what I usually do is put a scoop of that in. Like that. Grab my little stirring stick. And we'll mix that in. Do you want to make sure it's thoroughly mixed? All right, then I'll add another scoop. Add another two. Now you can go with the amount of pigment that I put in there. You can go, you know, 20 mil, 30 mil of pore medium. And it is all good. So we'll mix that one in. So as you mix that, make sure you scrape the side, scrape the bottom. Now the consistency of that now is like that. Nice and thick. Still works great for a bloom. Works great for your swipes. And dries clear. Like crystal clear. What we'll do is grab the other one, which is the enamel, water-based enamel. Let's throw a scoop of that in. Give that a mix. This one's definitely a bit thicker. So it really depends on what sort of consistency you want to use. I usually like all my stuff really thick. Just seems to work better for me on swipes and blooms. You don't sort of mud the colors together and things like that. Alright, so we'll give that a mix in. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Now, if you're in America, you can use the Bear 8300. That one there will do the job for you. Or the Valspar. Does the same thing. Alright, so that one's quite thick. So both of those you can use. That one's still quite thick. Now that will actually thicken up over time. So if you leave it overnight to get your bubbles out, It'll be thicker when it dries. Uh, all the bubbles come out and what have you. All right, so what I'll do is put these to one side. We'll grab a tile and we'll do a couple of swipes and a couple of blooms just using the single color and see what sort of effects we can get. All right, back in a minute. Okay. So, I've got a little four inch tile. I have some pillow paint in my sauce bottle, which is British Paint Slow Sheen. It comes in a black, and it's an exterior paint. So they're quite thick, straight out of the can. 
which is pretty good. Nothing's added to it, it's just straight out the tin, put into the sauce bottle. Right, so we'll put some black down. Now, we will get the first one we mixed up. I'll put a black stick in it so I know which one's which. So, this is the one with the first pour and medium. So all we're doing is using a black pillow and our ghost colours. Alright, so I'll get some black selectivator, which is Amsterdam lamp black, mixed with Australian flow troll. That's roughly 3 to 1. Alright, so I'm just going to swipe over the top of that. That. Do the other side. That. Now that's cell activator or sink. And bring up a whole heap of cells. If you want to speed the process up a little bit, you can grab a straw, give it a bit of a blow. Like that. Now what I'm going to do is grab a skewer and go... So we get a crazy pattern through it. All right, we'll give that a spin. going to get something that looks that color until you tilt it in the light might be too much glare on that camera so I'll do a little flyover of it now that way you can see exactly what it looks like so where it looks white it's actually a crazy blue when the light hits it We'll do another one with the other pour and medium now, exactly the same. Just to show both pour and mediums work. They're both dry fine. And they're a pretty good alternative for everyone here in Oz that can't get the original door and trims anymore. Alright, so we grab our tile. Same again. Other one that's got the enamel pour media in a minute. Like that. 
grab our little spot tool again. Stick some cell activator on it. that a blow grab the skewer do the same again some nuts patterns through it do that on a spin That one's a bit more bubbly, so we'll pop some bubbles. Like that. Um, what do I just do with that swap tool? There it is. Alright. So, both work fine. So as you tilt that in the light, so it looks white there until you tilt it light picks it up but I'll do a flyover of that one too so you can see what they both look like both turn out the same <clears throat> both dry the same so it is all good it's two different pouring mediums you can play with and you can still do this thing here in Oz. Just make sure if you're trying other types of paints, other brands, dip your finger in it if you can. Give it a rub. Do, 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 see if it turns clear. If it does, you're pretty much good to go. Um, with the enamel, you're better off with a semi-gloss. Because as it dries, it tends to move a little bit. It's a little bit more slippery, so it can distort your cells a little bit. But all in all, it still works really well. All right, we'll see if we can do a bloom with it. Single color bloom. So, black pillow again. I usually put a bit up to the corners just to give it a wet spot. That way your paint can slide around real easy. So just wet that out. Run your finger along the edge. Now black paint is a nightmare to get off your hands. So if you don't want to scrub them, wear gloves because yeah otherwise you're going to end up scrubbing them all right so we'll go with the first pour medium again which is the sunproof just single color bloom Alright, we'll grab the cell activator. Grab 
grab our little mini blower. that one out so if you're on a tight budget you can actually do some really cool things with just one single color So, looks white, turns blue, loads of fun, I love playing with ghost colours. Then if you want, what you can do is, actually add more ghost colour on in certain places. Grab your swipe tool with a cell activator. And just run it over the top of your ghost color. Just for different effects. All the cells will start popping up. Get rid of any bubbles. <clears throat> you can add little wispy bits through. Or not, you can just leave it. Entirely up to you. It's all about having a bit of fun, having a bit of a play. A bit more of a spin. Then you get some other crazy little patterns that come through. So we'll put that to one side. Okay, we'll do the same again. That's the pillow down. Here it is. this ghost blue again so this one's the enamel one Cell activator. Give that a bit of a blow. Maybe that 
more over a bit. So, color shifts to blue. Give that one a bit of a spin. And you get cool stuff like that. Now, if you really want to, and you've got vacant bits of land there that didn't have any cells and things like that, no big deal. You can grab another colour. So this is Skyline Blue. We can grab some Okinawa blue. Like that. You can use the ghost blue again. Just for different effects. So we'll put some cell activator on a swipe tool. Like that. We grab our little skewer again. little patterns into it. Scrape some of this off here. Give that a bit more of a spin. somewhere yes I do drag that out all right pop that one up then you can get really cool effects like that by doing your first swipe with the ghost colors and then just adding a couple of colors at the side do a swipe over the top Just for different effects. So I'll just wipe the bottom off that one. And we are done. So there's a flyover reel of that one. Which turned out pretty cool. So yeah, it pays to just experiment, you know. That's one single colour to start with. Do something crazy with it. You can either swipe, bloom, do whatever. Works best on a black background. Um, you don't notice them that much until you really tilt them in the light. On a white. Actually, I've got one tile here. I'll do a white one. Yeah, that way you can see what a white one looks like. Virtually looks all white, so. Grab that. 
grab some white pillow paint. We'll grab our ghost blue. Now, if you're interested in these ghost colors from eye candy, the ghost blue is actually on sale at the moment. I'll put up the price on the screen now for you. Also, in the description, you'll see a link for eye candy, which is my affiliate code. If you click on that, go straight to eye candy, you'll get your discount on this anyway, but any other pigments you get, you'll get a 10% discount on. So feel free to use it all you want. All right, black cell activator. So probably for you guys on the screen it'll look all black and white. So what we'll do is give that a bit of a spin. Okay, pop that one up. So it looks white, like black and white, until the light hits it. You can't really tell with this light that I've got. So I'll do a little flyover of it and might pick it up. But yeah, where I'm standing, you can actually see the blue. So yeah, have a bit of fun with it. Paste experiment and do all sorts of crazy little different things and see what pops up and it's a load of fun, it really is. All right guys, hopefully you liked that one. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe, ring that notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. If you have a look at all the other videos I have on the channel there's like 220 something now that are full of heaps of little tips and tricks and there's different playlists and things like that so feel free to have a look through and if you've got any questions just pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can all right guys that's it for me today so have fun take care and I'll see you in the next one bye for now